I've decided to stop being scared. Enough of this shit. I'm I'm done with the anxiety and I've been listening to a lot of Ralph Smart, YouTube, Instagram, follow him on Facebook. He is amazing, very insightful. His words really resonated with me. The fact that I've been feeling so scared all the time, so anxious, my hands, get, they get so sweaty. It's a constant and it's a hassle. And these sort of symptoms, they keep me from wanting to go out to, to see people, to, to do things, to live my life. And it's becoming so harmful to the point where I feel like it's really pulling to the universe and telling the universe like, well, you know, I'm, I'm so scared. So just, you know, like I, I'm weak right now. So this is your time to keep um, bashing me down. And it's really gotten to that point. I'm finally seeing it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to tell myself like these feelings don't matter because they do. But what should matter more is my will to get past it. I am not going to say, okay, this is my life and this is how I'm going to live every day. No, <laughs> I'm not going to let that happen. So this is going to be a new chapter in my life. I feel like I'm really going to, I am going to bear my teeth more. I'm going to have my claws ready. And at the same time, I'm going to be smiling through it all because I, I am done with the BS. I, I am done with unrealistic expectations and the negative vibrations from others. And, you know, like the silence is real, you know, like that I can feel um, others who are like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want this one to succeed. You know, she shouldn't be thinking like, you know, like she can be putting her herself up on some sort of metaphorical pedestal and be like hey world look at me i'm alive you know you know what screw all that i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep doing myself i'm just a, a basic human being who's dealing with her own ish and it's just i'm sick of it and i am just waving this around because this is like the <laughs> key ingredient is lately like my husband he's so supportive he, he's so kind and very compassionate and you know in his own way he does his best to help me out and his words and his kindness has gotten me through a lot and that's and also his support has gotten me to keep wanting to make these recordings these sessions that i do it, it's therapy for me and it helps me out a lot and to top it off he makes me chocolate pancakes they're so awesome <laughs> And I got this awesome cup here. <laughs> He's so cute. He's a carrot. Oh. Yep. Cause you know, I'm powered by plants. Got this awesome organic pulpy orange juice and my chocolate pancake and trying my best to get in the zone because I'm going to be going to work soon. And um, I don't want to keep being that person. Is That's always like, you know, every, everyone's vibrations are so, uh, and I just can't mesh with it. And I, I get so nervous and I shut down. I, I'm going to look at the rest of my days like, I got this. <laughs> I ain't scared no more. I, I'm so tired. And in the past, I really forced it, you know, because um, this has been, this has always been my issue. And I've, I, in the past, I made the mistake of um, forcing, trying to act like I am a social butterfly, and it's backfired, you know, harshly, tremendously, like so many times. And um, I'm just one of those people that. When I finally got a hold of social media, I was really, I don't know, like posting a lot to interact with people and show them I'm alive and everything. And at the same time, I'm like not pulling through with uh, plans being made, you know, get togethers, gatherings or whatever. I made it to a good handful, but there was so much more that um, I quote unquote missed out on. But um, 
you know, I, I don't I don't feel like I really missed out on a lot, but in the big picture, I could have been more um, physically outgoing than virtually present. That was how it was, and I, I guess some people were able to pick up on that. Like, <laughs> you know, like why, why are you trying to like post so much on your social media when you don't even try to like come hang out or whatever? So like, I could I could see how that was very um, screwy with people's mentalities. Like, we hanging out or not? <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, like, I straight up, nah, -uh. I can't do it. I just couldn't, and. It's not like I'm going to start going and be like, oh, let's hang out now. Mm. It's still going to take me a minute. But my overall perspective on when it comes to at least getting up in the morning and getting ready for work, a job that I appreciate it and I am dedicated, but I'm not in love with it. I don't want to be a receptionist for the rest of my life. I never thought I would be a receptionist. It's actually one of the last things on my list to be. I, I never really liked the idea of being stuck at a desk and taking phone calls. But I guess what I can do now and it's the most I can handle. But then there comes other tedious tasks and I just wish that the other extra, I don't know, paperwork, technical duties could be passed on to others who are more savvy with that kind of stuff. I, I'm just I'm I'm just done. I'm over it. But for now, I'm very grateful that I have a means to make money, support myself, help out my husband and our roommate, I have a roof over our head. I'm very grateful for the opportunity given to me. So I'll never really like I never truly bash it. It's not a horrible job anyone can do it i'm just i personally I, i'm over it you know i just the constant interactions you know that's the universe talking to me probably because i'm all like i don't want to talk to people and it's like <laughs> you're at a job where you have to talk to people <laughs> no no so <laughs> you know it's funny how that worked out huh. all right yeah here we are and I'm getting my itch together so that I can get it done, get myself going, and try not to, I don't know, get so much of a care about it, you know? So, <sighs> thank you for coming for my, to my talk. <laughs> I'm really gonna be changing up my my channel. I'm 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 done focusing on my anxiety. I am done saying like I'm scared. I'm, I'm over it. So uh, once again, thank you so much for joining in on this. And I, I hope you you find your way to if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, you know, just just not feeling at home where you're at and um, not feeling secure. You're not alone. I, I've been there. It's not easy. It really sucks. It's a huge hindrance. You will get out of it. You will get through it. It does not hold power over you. It's the universe trying to tell you to raise your vibrations. Find something that makes you happy, that brings you health, and brings you harmony. If it doesn't bring you any of those things, it doesn't serve you. You deserve better. You do. You truly do. So I'm sending all my love, all of my blessings. I, I truly care for all those who are, are hurting and we do not need to be in that dark place no more. It does not deserve us. Just don't be like me, I guess, you know, don't, don't force it. If it's not genuine, if it doesn't, you know, like really feel like you, then don't do it. You know, I, I, I really forced it, you know, with social media, like I would post back in the day like so much just to show people like i'm present i'm trying to relate i'm trying to understand <laughs> i'm trying to be a part of and um that's for me i, I shouldn't have gone about it that way because uh, there's actually a lot of people who do not resonate with me who do i who i do not uh see eye to eye with and who um in general do not care to share my my journey with because i know you know in their hearts they're probably like <laughs> i just want to see her fail like 
peace to you, unity to you. I hope you find love, balance, and harmony. I truly do. Much love. Take care. Thank you.